Congress are used fraudulent, fraudulent, fraudulent documents to prove that it had the right to foreclose. Over the past few weeks and in the coming weeks, we've heard and will continue to hear debates surrounding residential real estate foreclosures and the complicated mess surrounding them. I'm sure by now everybody's heard of the freeze that some of our nation's largest banks have put on these foreclosures. So where do the problems lie and how do they affect all of us? First, you have the issue with MERS. MERS is the Mortgage Electronic Registration System and was created and is owned by several of our nation's largest banks and even includes Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. MERS has often been the agent of banks used to foreclose on properties. However, in recent months, courts across the nation have held that since MERS is simply a nominee and not the actual note holder, they have no legal standing to foreclose on any property. See, MERS is a system created to allow the securitization of mortgages so they could be packaged and sold. Now, by creating MERS, lenders are then able to move more loans and create greater liquidity. Here's the problem. MERS created a situation where loans and even portions of loans were sold over and over again. Now, the problem is new deeds were not signed and recorded to go along with the change of title. So when this happens over and over again, it creates a break in the chain of title. So when banks or investors went to foreclose on properties that they owned through the MERS system, they sent MERS in their stead, and in the case of the 23 judicial states, oftentimes sent them without the legal chain of title showing that they were the rightful owners with the legal authority to foreclose. So MERS, as a nominee, cannot foreclose, and further, they're representing banks and investors that don't have a clear chain of title. So why is this such a major problem? Well, there's 62 million homes under MERS. That's 60% of all homes, and 97% of loans originated between 2005 and 2008. You know, the golden years of foreclosure. Now that takes us to the second major problem, and that's how banks are dealing with the problems that we just outlined. That would be robo-signers. These are people hired to review all the paperwork and ensure everything is being done properly. Well, these robo-signers have testified that they didn't review anything, and oftentimes were putting their signatures to the contrary up to 10,000 times a month. That comes down to nearly one signature a minute, eight hours a day, five days a week. It's simply impossible. Further, if it was discovered that something was missing for the foreclosure process to continue forward? What do you think they did? Forgery, you know, make it up, create a document, backdate it, and actually sign the signature of the person on the document? I know this sounds unbelievable, but according to Congressman Grayson, a company called Lender Processing Services, LPS, through their appropriately titled DocX, would create, from scratch, whatever was needed. Guys, we need to push these foreclosures through. I know that. But we have to do it legally. Well, that's what makes the little-known bill, H.R. 3808, so interesting. You see, this bill that was just sent back to Congress from the president would require all federal and state courts to recognize notarizations made from any state. The practical application would be to protect bank and mortgage processors from liability on improperly prepared documents. Yeah, those documents that Brian was just talking about. And now we're hearing of writers in loan documents that release banks of any wrongdoing if and when these foreclosures are sold. I mean, does the bank have a right to foreclose? Or more importantly, do you or your clients actually own the house you just bought? Now, are these questions as outlandish as they might sound? Let's think about it. Yeah, I mean, Maxine Waters of the House Financial Services Committee calls for a national foreclosure freeze. President Obama, he pocket vetoes a bill that would have made it easier for banks to foreclose. Bank of America, they halt foreclosures in all 50 states. Senator Dodd of finance reform fame and head of the Senate Banking Committee just announced hearings on this foreclosure mess. The head of MERS just announced that they were not equipped to deal with all these foreclosures and lawsuits are being filed at an ever-increasing clip. Listen, we don't know where you fit in this mess, and the view is probably different from each and every seat. I mean, if you're buying a house, you need to find out specifically if you're covered on your purchase if a break in the chain of title is discovered. If you're losing a house, check the paperwork and check your intentions. Listen, if you're not making the house payment, maybe this isn't the fight for you. And if you're representing clients as an agent, you need to make sure you work with a title.